Good afternoon, children of Marcross Primary School. Welcome to the one o'clock news with me, Miss Musselwhite. Our top story today is an update on the chaos Storm Darcy has brought to our region this week. Hours of fun was had by children all around the country. Although unlike days gone by, lessons could still continue. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, oh, we've got news. News of a breaking report is coming through. Let's head straight over to our correspondent, Mr. Davison, to find out more. Hello, hello. Good morning. Miss Mosway, can you hear me? Hello. Miss Mosway. Good morning, Miss Mosway. It is Mr. Davison here, live from Miles Cross Primary School. I have today's breaking news for you. Now, in two weeks' time, the, the second week back after half term, we are beginning our whole school unit. Do you remember last year, we focused on the gingerbread men? Well, this year will be bigger and better. Even more exciting, though, our second piece of breaking news is Thursday the 4th of March. It is World Book Day. Now, this year's theme is to reuse or recycle something um, that you have at home, okay? Maybe make your costume from scratch. As you can see, I've already done so. Doesn't it look great? On World Book Day, we're not going to have normal lessons but instead you're going to, going to be given a series of activities that you can choose from to do with your family. Of course, we obviously want to see photographs of your homemade costumes as well, so please upload those to Shobi, Tapestry, Class Dojo, etc. Now, we also have one other very exciting challenge for you, and I'm going to give you a little sneak preview about that now. Love gorillas. She read books about gorillas. She watched gorillas on television and she drew pictures of gorillas. But she had never seen a real gorilla. Her father didn't have time to take her to see one at a zoo. He didn't have time for anything. He went to work every day before Hannah went to school and in the evening he worked at home. When Hannah asked him a question, he would say, not now, I'm busy, maybe tomorrow. But the next day, he was always busy. Not now, maybe at the weekend, he would say, but at the weekend, he was always too tired. They never did anything together. I'm really looking forward to all the activities we have planned for you on World Book Day. But I need to go and get ready. So I'm going to hand back to you in the studio, Miss Musselwhite, and I'm going to keep making my costume. Thank you for that breaking news report, Mr. Davidson. Looks like lots of exciting things are happening at Marlcross Primary School after half term. Just to recap, on March the 1st, there'll be a special assembly to kickstart our new whole school unit of work in English. Then on March the 4th, World Book Day, will still be taking place. Story related activities will be happening instead of normal lessons, as well as special challenges, which will be uploaded to the school's YouTube channel, including the masked reader. Don't forget to send in your pictures of your activities and your costumes which you've either made, like Mr. Davison did, or reused from a previous year. That's all for the one o'clock news. Take care, stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs>